What is up guys and gals, it's me Thomas Final One here, and today we're going to be doing goofs in that's right, that's right, Grand Puff! Oh yes, we're going to be doing the goofs in the Duke Trill uh quadrilogy or whatever the heck that's called. Um but we're going to be doing that. We're gonna be doing the goofs in that series. Um and as you can and we're actually pretty uh snowed in right now in beautiful Pennsylvania, so Without further ado, let's get this going right now. One winter's night when the cold wind blew, the engines found it hard. Okay, first thing here. You can see a little bit of gappage between Duck's face right here. And back through here, I think Henry might be derailed or something. I'm not 100% sure. And why does Toby have a scared face on? Like, he really does have a scared face on. The rest of the engines have their worried faces on, but Toby has a scared, has that, uh, or not scared face, the, uh, angry face, excuse me, that's what I was trying to, that was, that's what I was meant earlier, but he's got his angry face on, these guys have their, like, scared or worried faces on, aside from Henry, Henry's kind of, like, frowning-ish, but anyways, there's gappage here, um, I don't know what the heck this is on Thomas right here. It could also part of, be part of the sheds, but it looks like it's actually part of Thomas. So I'm going to count that as a goof right there and right here. Let's continue. Another goof right here. They never fixed Toby's indent right up here. They never fixed it. And, there's also, and it looks like his windows aren't even on straight because there's a gap right here. There's also a little bit of chipping right here on the face. If you, I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but a little bit of chipping going on right down here. Um, and his coupling is his coupling pieces are a little wonky, but I'm not really going to count that because that's not really it. So face chipping here, a little indentation here, and gappage here. Justin Toby is to listen to a story. Yes, agreed Percy. Okay. Percy's face is like at the bottom here. It, as you can see, it looks like at a really big angle. It, it, it's like it looks like it's about to fall off. Like I don't know. Also, his dome is silver. Like I I don't know if you can really see it on my on my screen on uh, well, the way I'm seeing this, but it, it's silver, not 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 brass. I mean, on camera it looks brass, but uh, if you're on the other side of the camera, it looks like it's silver. A mysterious story. But, added Duck, it must have a happy ending. Driver told me it's... Um... A little bit of spacage between the eyes and a lot of dust and... Ugh. It looks like they put a piece of clear tape, like, right around here for Thomas. Like, I don't know what it is, but it looks like they, it's either... Oh, okay, it's just, some of it's just a reflection, but there's a little bit of scratch marks here, and it might look like he's derailed, but I don't, I don't think so, I, I correct me if I'm wrong, it could be, but I'm not, I'm not going to count it because I don't know, but, um, you know, other than that, it, just a bunch of paint chipping right here. Story, said Thomas, so everyone let okay, what the heck is going on with Henry's face? It look, it's, like, slid down quite a bit. And some major gappage right in between the eyes. Once upon a time began Thomas. There were okay, first things first. This wheel right here, it's derailed. Yeah, it's derailed. And, uh, you know, first scene with Duke, and you can kind of see this guy's face is just way too long. Just a little big there. Okay, these trucks right here, the ones that are behind Peter Sam, otherwise known as Stuart, uh, they're all derailed. Like right here, you can kind of see it by the angle as well. Like the way it, it just, it's off the rails here. This one's like kind of off at a at an angle here. Like that's off. The front wheels here are off. Yeah, th this is just they're off. They're just off the rails. 
And then this one, I'm not I'm not 100% sure if this is off, but I don't I don't think so, but I'm not sure. So let's continue. He was proud of this. Love to keep the little engines in order. Whenever they did anything that Duke thought wrong, he would say, "That would never suit his grace." I think Duke is derailed, but I don't think I don't know. It's a bit. I'm a bit indecisive about this episode because it, it's like they went with smaller to well, They went with smaller models, but I don't know what. I don't know if they are derailed or if they're not. It's very hard to tell. Other engines came and went, but Duke outlasted them all. Stewart and Falcon used to call him Grandpa. They were fond of him, but they got very... There was a little... Here, let's go back a couple seconds here. Look at... Alright, like, it's a little bit faded in between shots, but take a look at Peter Sam's eyes, otherwise known as Stuart. Falcon used to call him Grandpa. They were fond of him, but like, they got very... But yeah. Tired. Like, did you... I don't know. Did you guys see that? The eyes were just going everywhere. Let's go back again. They used to call him Grandpa. Right here. Right here. His eyes just tired. went that way and then all, all over. Sometimes they would tease him and chant, engines come and engines. Okay, real quick, there are going to be some major goofs in the next few scenes, so pay attention, because I'm going to point them out. Go. Goes on. Okay, first off, the, I believe Falcon's derailed, I'm not 100%, but I could, I, I could be wrong. I, I believe he is derailed, though. Okay, you guys saw Reneus go by, right? Okay, here is where the production team really, really messed up. Making this character here. They could have just left it at Reneus, but they didn't. And you can clearly see, clearly see where they did not paint over very well. So right along in the windows here, along the side, right here, along the cab entrance, along the wheel well, right here, a little bit on the boiler, it's a bunch of it on the on the coal bot on the uh, coal hopper piece thing. This this piece right here. And you can like it's very, very dirty and or not or not dirty. It's not very it's not painted very well. And then this piece, I don't know what they were doing here. So, yeah, there's going to be more of that. Oh, wait. I missed one. Okay. In the piston crank down here, or the piston piece right here, that is red. It should be green. He rode roughly. And right in the back along here... And along again in the side cab entrance. Oh, and right in the piston pe piston well right here. It often came off the rail. I warned him to be careful, but he took no notice. Listen, Dookie. Like, look, you can even see it here, too. Like, a lot of mispainted pieces, like, right along inside here along on some of the foot plate, right down here on the boiler piece, just mispainted, and again, in the cab, the cab entrance right here, I, I just, I, I don't, I don't understand it, I don't know why they couldn't just go over this paint again, once more, and make sure it was right, and then film it. Snarled, who worries about a few spills? We do here, I said, but Smudger just laughed. <laughs> Until one day, manager said he was going to make him useful. Okay, right here, you can clearly see the red paint, clear, clear as day, like, showing through, right here. Go back and watch the original episode, and you'll see a ton of paint missing. And there's a little bit of sticky tack here, and a little bit of sticky tack here, uh, where the manager here is standing, and where the, where the driver and or fireman is standing right here. Okay, I don't know what the heck's going on here. 
and w oh wait, never mind. I do know what's going on. I did not. I could not see cor see correctly. Uh, this this is the piston pieces, the piston wells or whatever they're called, and they are just like the red. They they should be green and smudger clearly. I'm just gonna call, count this whole smudger character as a goof because they smudged a lot of green paint on him. They just did not paint it clearly enough. And what the heck is going on with this guy's face? And this little piece right here that's like very very dirty, you know. And this guy too. I, I don't know what the heck's going on with their characters. I I feel like this guy they just painted over a workman because you can clearly see buttons visible, but the group but the blue does not show uh, enough as it should. Why? What did he do? He turned him into a generator. He's still out there behind our ship. Okay. This is where they started to clean off all of the green paint on Smudger and turn it back into Reneus. Because right here on the wheel wells, they are red. And because they had to, you know, pretty much crop what was going on in the background, and you can see it right here too, on, there's red on the, wheel, on the wheel well right there. They had to pretty much put make it look like they weren't trying to fix it and turn it back into Reneus. I, I, I just don't, I don't understand it. This that okay. Let's go back here. Watch this truck right here. It derailed and it started to bump on the sleepers. Okay, I personally feel like they filmed the episode Rusty Saves Peter Sam or Rusty Helps Peter Sam uh, while they were in the process of filming this because this does not break until the aqueduct here does not break until the, um, the car is smashed into Peter Sam. So I feel like this was, I feel like they shot this during the, f I feel like they shot the episode Rusty Helps Peter Sam while they were filming this because you can see all the freight cars they are all lined like as they did when they hit peter sam so you know it, it's it's a good possible it's a good possibility and you know it just it's very very noticeable the mines in the hills i also feel like they partially reused this this piece of the set for uh the episode toby um Toby's discovery. So, you know, just just throwing that out there. Hey, look, it's Scarloey. People came to buy the engines. We'll take Stuart and Falcon. No one wanted Duke. They thought him too old. Cheer up, Grandpa. Called Stuart. We'll find you a nice railway, and then you can come and keep us in order. They tried to be brave and cheerful, but no one really thought their I think some of these cars out. back here are derailed. Duke's driver and fireman oiled and greased him one last time. They sheeted him snugly and said goodbye. Then they had to go away and find work. Duke was alone. Oh well, he sighed. I'll go to sleep. It'll help to pass the time. Winter torrents washed soils from the hills. Trees and bushes grew all around. You wouldn't have known a shed was there. Okay, hold on. I have to make something very clear. What the heck is this blue fabric piece and or blue bit sticking out? Go and watch the original episode. You'll see what I'm talking about. Right here, there's this blue piece just sitting right there. You wouldn't have known a shed was there, let alone a little engine to sleep inside. That's not a happy ending, cried Percy. Percy's face. Let's go back a bit. 
Percy's face is a little off center. You can kind of see it right here, like just right along the edge of his face. You can just see a little bit of it. It's not that that big of a deal, and also his buffer beam is just a, or his uh, buffer piece is a little dusty along with this entire side. So you know, hey. Oh, and there's a little plastic piece hanging right off of this little. I I don't know what this is. Someone please correct me and tell me what the heck this is. And there's also a little bit of paint chipping going on here as well on whatever this is. I guess it's a it's a lamp post. I I think that's what it is. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but please someone go and tell me what the heck some of this stuff is so I don't make, mess this up in the future um, so but uh, yeah there's a plastic piece hanging off here I, either that or it's a crack in the buffer beam itself so I don't know please someone correct me if I'm wrong That's not a happy ending, cried Percy. Right in this look at Thomas's in Thomas's eyes, you can see a little bit of the background set. That's you know a little bit of the set right there that's going on. And what the heck is this thing right down here? I've always wondered what the heck this plate piece is. Like no, literally go back and watch the original episode, and you'll see there's a piece right here, just a piece of plate, like a plate steel piece right here. I, I don't know what this is, and I, um, my guess is you can, oh wait, you know what, I know what this is for, and I know why there's no sleepers on the track from here to here. Um, my guess is, is that this is where the steam piece came up, and they needed to make a few sacrifices in order for the track to work, and you can see a little bit of the track connection down here as well. Uh, you can't really see it right at the moment because my mouse is above the line, so... But essentially, those are some goofs that I have to point out. Um, I believe they were also at the beginning of the episode as well. Um, and before we continue, there's also a little bit of paint chipping on Thomas's wheels. You can kind of see it. Not that big of a deal, but it could be. Thomas, there will be one, but that'll have to wait until next time. And Percy's track ends right here. You can clearly see it on in the original episode. No. I'm not even kidding. Go, a lot of this, you guys have to go back and watch the original episode in order to actually see them. But, you know, it's just a... Ugh, it's, so, it's a good thing, but it's a bad thing as well. And that's it. That's it for that episode. Next episode we will do, we will do Sleeping Beauty. Um, uh, but for now, uh, this is your, this is your boy Thomas Santa one saying, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Don't forget to leave, um, don't forget to leave comments down below if you saw any other goofs that I missed and or any goofs you'd like me to do any in the future. Um, and also please, please. Um, over on the East Coast right now, it is very, very cold, and it is very, very stormy. Um, so, like this, like in the original other episode, please stay dry, stay inside. You know, this will be a good thing for everybody to watch. So, anyways, don't forget to do all that stuff that I said previously, and, uh, you know, peace.